So, Aquarius, this is going to be your general reading for the week of March 24th. Aquarius, it's not going to be for all of you, but if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out my social media account links down in the description box below. Uh, my private readings are closed currently, but they will reopen in April, hopefully. But you can check out my website there, too. Okay, so Aquarius, overall energy for the week, Three of Wands, which talks about preparation. Okay, so I also see the Three of Wands as someone who has the energy of like a go-getter, like you've thought about um, where you want to go for long enough, Aquarius, and now you're getting to the point where it's action-oriented time. Do you know what I'm saying? So taking action on your goals, taking action on relationships, you name it. You're ready. This is a ready card. So we'll see how that pans out with the rest of the reading. It's a good start, though. So, Aquarius, the first card out. <sighs> the Seven of Swords. This is the recent past. Okay. Let's see what else we get out. Ooh, my goodness. Okay. Wow, this is an interesting start, Aquarius. So, um, you have the Seven of Swords. You have the Death card, also the sign of Scorpio. And then the Four of Pentacles here. So, um, and so you could be dealing with Air, Scorpio, or Earth so far. But don't get caught up on that. That just could be the energy you're holding. Um, this is an energy of not showing everything keeping things to yourself. Um, for some of you, Aquarius, you're like making moves, but telling no one. Does that make sense? So you might have like um, a plan ready to execute and you've not shared that with anyone just yet. Um, and so there's an energy here of keeping it to yourself. Okay. Um, and that's kind of where we're coming from, the energy we're coming from into this week, so recent past. Because um, there's a lot of withholding. I feel like you're withholding information. Some of you are saving up money as well. Because whatever this decision is, Aquarius, it's going to put an end to either a relationship, another situation, career, you name it. It's going to be different for everybody, but I'll break it down into groups here at the end. But, um, yeah. And for a few of you, this may not be your energy. You may have somebody um, in your midst, Aquarius, that is um, having a hard time letting go of you. They may be um, doing, like, covert operations. I don't know what that means. <laughs> they may be like spying on you, stalking you, um, getting information on you, etc. They may have a plan up their sleeve. Okay. So that could be interchangeable. We'll see. We'll see. This is interesting. I'm going to break it down here in a little bit. So, <laughs> um, Man, your cards are flying out. So coming uh, up into, oh goodness, the week. Starting the week, you have the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. So as a general energy, Aquarius, this is trying to take the higher road, okay? Trying to stay stabilized, focusing on the tangible, which means like focusing on your home, the daily things that we have to do as humans on this earth, paying bills, um, heavily focused on the day-to-day -day activities. Um, some of you may be open and available to love this week. Some of you may have someone coming in to offer you love. So like I said, I'll break it down to more specifics in a, mo in a moment. Then towards the end of the week, you have the King of Cups, the Star card, that's your card, Aquarius, and then the Eight of Swords. Why? Okay. Um, so I feel like Aquarius towards the end of the week, like I said, there's a sense of being more open, uh, emotionally 
this week. You may be a little bit over emotional this week, FYI, Aquarius. Um, you know, <laughs> it happens. I don't feel like Aquarius is a very super emotional sign on the exterior, but actually on the inside, Aquarius is quite, quite emotional, quite moody. Um, so if you've been suppressing that in particular Aquarius, um, I feel like, you know, watch that this week because you might become the opposite end of logical, which is over emotional. Or you could be dealing with somebody like this, particularly a water sign, Scorpio is out, but it could be Cancer or Pisces. But like I said, I'll get down to that brax taxes in a minute. <laughs> so these two cards together are pretty good. The energy is that uh, some of you are trying to heal a, a relationship, but yet there's still worries here. There's still, um, you know, a bit of. You know, feeling like there's nothing really you could do about it or this is interesting. Or feeling like um, you are not able to. Make the changes necessary to make a partnership work for some of you. Uh, it's just this overall sense of being stuck in your head, Aquarius, um, which is normal for you. But it kind of keeps you from, I guess, making as much action for it as you could. So I'm going to clarify this and then I'm going to break it down into groups because, like I said, I see a few different messages here. Just keep in mind you can be in one of the groups uh, or all of the groups. Pick which ones resonate. The lovers. O-M-J. Um, if you are dealing with a Scorpio, check out their reading because they had a lot of similar cards here. Um, but I also have Taurus out, Capricorn, Virgo, and another Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. Gemini. Okay, so... Let me break this down. <laughs> Aquarius. Group one. Um, I feel like Aquarius, some of you um, are wanting to move forward in your life. Some of you um, are wanting more stability within your life. You may have decided to put an end to relationships that you felt were not on the up and up or that were below like your moral high ground. So either you had to lower your standards or your morals or what you would typically do to entertain this relationship or this person, or there's something here to do with it being a very non-traditional relationship for some of you. Okay. So I feel like Aquarius, you may have made the decision to um, end that but there's a sense of someone still holding on here. So someone is still seeking information on you, Aquarius, or you, they. Uh, someone's still holding on to grudges in particular or holding on to feelings. Um, and I just get this overall sense that, Aquarius, you're ready to move past that. So you, some of you are aware of it. Some of you aren't. I feel like you don't care either way because I feel like you have a lot on your plate in like the day-to-day -day activities world. You might have a lot going on in your career, in your family life um, that needs your attention or demanding your attention. Okay. Some of you are focused on a new relationship. Okay. But I feel like if this is your situation... <clears throat> And a, a particularly if you're dealing with a water sign, I feel like there is uh, an opening here towards the end of the week where um, this person may come back around and offer love or friendship. Um, and then in a way, it's like Aquarius, you had hoped for it for a really long time for some of you. Um, 
or it was something that you wished for, okay? Or they wished for. Remember, it can be interchangeable. You could be coming to this person, but yet it, it puts you here in the Eight of Swords, which is stuck. <laughs> so I feel like... <clears throat> If this is your situation, it ends up making you feel stuck in your head, uh, you know, feeling like you're at a crossroads or that you need to make a decision. And I think the reason you feel that way is because, like I said, you had already made the decision to move on, move forward, move away, have a new partnership. You have been in action-oriented energies pretty much since January, so... Aquarius is not a sign that looks back. They don't like to go backwards. It, it, to them, it feels like they are going, you know, in the past. And Aquarius is a future-oriented sign. So for you, that would really stress you out to go backwards. And I feel like it is. Okay. Um, so there might be a discussion with this person towards the end of the week. Um, and I don't see it as a harsh discussion. I see it as a very to the point, okay, logical. Um, the, these are the facts. <laughs> you know, Aquarius is all about the facts. You know, I think Aquarius, you're going to look at it from a different point of view. You're going to look at it from a much more, does this make sense um, with where I'm headed? Does this make sense with where I'm going? As opposed to, how does this make me feel? How do I feel towards this person? I don't think you're going to tap into that part of you. I think you're going to stay up here and leave your heart out of it. <clears throat> okay. So, that is interesting. That's one group. Okay. Second group. If you didn't have an ending or a betrayal in the past, particularly if you're uh, in a long-term relationship, I feel like um, there's a sense of, it's like if you're in a long-term relationship right now, Aquarius, there's still a lot of things that you keep to yourself, which you're always going to do. You're an Aquarius. Um, you know, I feel like, there's still some old shit that you should have let go of that you're still kind of holding on to, whether that be grudges with your partner or just, or grudges from someone else or someone's doing this to you, but I feel like it's you, you know, just kind of keeping things to yourself. All right. I feel like overall the partnership is steady here. Um, like I said, a lot of you, this is long-term marriages for some of you. I feel like your partner and you are both open to love, giving and receiving love this week. There might be some healing in the relationship that's occurring, um, like a newfound hope in the relationship, but yet still, yet still needing to detach at times, Aquarius, still needing to detach to be in your head. Um, I feel like it's necessary for you to have uh, that time to yourself for this relationship to, to, to continue in a healthy way. So I don't th feel like it's bad. I don't feel like it's like you're detaching because you're not happy with your partner. I just feel like there's moments in time, Aquarius, where you're going into your head um, because you really like to loop on the, your decisions. You're, you like to think about your thinking. Does that even make sense? Like, <laughs> you might be having conversations with yourself inside your head. Um... Because I feel like there, if there was uncertainty in the past, maybe it wasn't even with this person, you're carrying it forward even though you're making so much progress. So, like, it's hard to unlearn when we've been hurt. And so I think, like, you, that still haunts you. Like, you still think about it. Even though you have this partner here that's both stable and emotionally available, I think in the past, you've dealt with a lot of the opposite. A sneaky motherfucker. Excuse my language. <laughs> Excuse my language. I didn't mean that. That's what came to my head. 
you know, you're used to sneaky, maybe relationships, liars, people who hold things over your head. Now the energy's changed, it shifted. And so for some of you, you have a good relationship here that's progressing pretty nicely. But um, you still kind of ruminate. Does that make sense? So that's just kind of an FYI. Overall, it looks good though. Okay, this is your group. Group three. <laughs> some of you... Um, like I said, it's just an energy of cutting off toxic people. For some of you, it's more than one person, okay? So you might have caught, like, gossipy people. You're just, you know, Aquarius, you might be cutting them off or have recently cut them off. You're really, really focused on, um, for a lot of you, spirituality, uh, your day-to-day -day life, making the best of yourself, making actions on yourself, improving health uh, in particular, if you've been neglecting it trying to be more emotionally balanced, um, you know, thinking heavily, thinking heavily though about your next steps. I feel like you may not be telling a lot of people about what your next move is, what your next plan is. Um, you might have a lot of great ideas that you are getting ready to act on, but you're not speaking on it yet. <clears throat> Okay, and trying to make the decision about, okay, when is the right time for me to announce this? When is the right time for me to have this conversation? Um, am I making the right decisions? Some of you aren't quite 100% sure yet, and that's why you're not speaking about it. It's just that simple. And this could pertain to work for a lot of you, but it could also pertain to, like I said, the, your everyday life, a relationship, you name it. So that was group three. So yeah, um, Aquarius. I feel like overall it's good energy. Keep pushing forward. At the bottom of the deck you have the strength card and then the six of wands. So I feel like you're going to get to your destination. Okay, don't worry so much. Uh, zodiac signs I have out, like I said, uh, Scorpio uh, could be Cancer or Pisces. I have another Aquarius here, possibly Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, and Leo. So don't get caught up on the zodiac signs, though, if that could just be the energy you're holding this week. If it resonates, fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, namaste. Bye.